Here we go, guys. Right. New game. Here we are in the Kestrel. Mother Trucker. Let's get into space. Let's whack some fools. Right, so yeah, let's get let's get on board the Kestrel. Oh my god, here we go. And then the ship looks pretty much the same as it did in the tutorial. Um, I don't see any major differences. And we've got oh look, we've got three crew members here. We've got Jackie, John, and Frank. Uh I'm not so happy with that. Let's customize them. And you know what? Let's rename the ship too. Now I'm feeling a bit Game of Thrones here. I've been playing a lot of War of the Roses recently, because it's freaking amazing. And uh, so I'm going to rename this as something a bit a Song of Ice and Fiery, something a bit Game of Thronesy. So we're going to name this. Well, I think this has got to be the ship of Captain Robert Baratheon. Oh yes, come on, Ned. We're going to conquer space, you and me. Fuck the Lannisters. Lannisters in space. I don't think so. We were here first. Baratheons all the way. So we're going to rename this the Stag. I think. Yeah, the Stag. The stag. The, the Baratheon Sigil, the stag. And piloting this ship is going to be King Robert. King Baratheon. Rob. I think it's going to be. Robert Baratheon is going to be. Yeah. Robert Baratheon is a bit. So we're going to have. Ah. Baratheon. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, Baratheon. Except. And then, obviously, partnering him, who else? The one, the only, Ned Stark. Come on, Stark. Let's take it to the Lannisters. And accept. And who are we going to make the last character? Um, I don't know. I'm out, I'm out of voices for Game of Thrones. Um, I think we're going to have to have a female aboard the crew. And... Oh, who's it going to be? Well, we could uh, we could pick... I don't know. There's a bunch of people. We're going to pick... Um, I think this has got to be a Stark-friendly ship. So we're going to pick Caitlin Stark. Cat. Come on, cat. Oh, Robert. You're such a bloody big king. I don't know. Here we go. We've got a burst laser. Mark II. Oh, yeah. And an Artemis. I think that was the missile system. Great. Uh, okay. Can we replace that? System not installed. No drones. And our weapon system. Yeah, that's, that all looks pretty good. Let's just go with what we got here. And we're going to play... Oh, increase scrap rewards and easier enemy generation. Okay. We're going to play on easy because this is my first game. And we're on a nice long session. So I hope you guys agree that we're going to we're gonna take the stag and we're going to conquer space. In the name of... In the name of... All the bloody bloodies. In the name of House Baratheon. The data you carry is vital to the remaining uh, the remaining stacks. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore the sector before moving on to the next. But the Lannisters will be in pursuit, so be aware of their progress. Tip, oxygen. If the ship's room color changes from tan to red, it means you're losing oxygen crew will be damaged and fires will burn out in rooms with an orange border. Okay, cool. Right, okay. So we're in the first section. We've got 30 scrap to spend on stuff. Um, do we want to spend scrap just yet? Hmm, don't know. Probably not. But let's power up our weapons and jump to light speed. Oh, yeah. So where are we going to go? An unvisited location. The nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower, but will disrupt your sensors. Well, where do we see the fleet pursuit? Uh, evade? Is that it? Percent chance to dodge incoming fire? No. Well, how do we know what the Lannisters are up to? Where's where's our intel, Ned? Ned, I'm putting you in charge of intel. Ned Stark. Get back to the bloody, uh, the bloody engines, Ned. I'm going to put Ned in the engines room, and we're going to put Caitlin on the shields, I think. Yeah. Get on the shields, Kate. And we'll have Robert piloting the ship. Great. This is perfect. Okay, let's jump. We could, uh, yeah, let's head to the nebula. We can come through here, head through the nebula to slow down fleet pursuit, and then get to the exit right through there. So let's go. Come on, guys. Oh, my God. It's a red sun. Danger! You arrive at the beacon to find yourself dangerously close to a star. An automated rebel ship, impervious to the heat, moves in to engage. Oh my god, what the f what the frig? 
Okay, um, it's an auto assault ship. Let's take a look at it. It looks kind of simple. I think we can take this out. Let's give it a go. Let's pause, pause and power up our weapons. Um, there we go. Well, they're both powering up, but we're going to fire the Artemis at the shields. There we go. Come on, guys. Let's power this up. Oh, God. I can see their weapons powering up. I hope we can withstand the first hit. Here we go. Oh, they're going to fire. Oh, we're hit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, shield's critical. Oh, but we've, we've taken... Oh, pause the game. Oh, my God. We've lost our shields, guys. Jesus Christ. And the FTL is still charging. So we're going to have to wait for that to power up fully before we can get out of here. But oh, in the meantime, let's take a burst shot at the shields. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, the hull is almost toast. I think we're going to take this guy out pretty easily. But I'm worried because if our shields go down, we've got no protection against the heat from that star. Oh, no. Caitlin, fix the ship. Well, Caitlin's in there and she's fixing the shields as best she can. But uh, at the moment, oh, I think it's unpowered. Yeah, that's gone orange. So, uh... I don't know. Things are looking grim. But come on, guys. Let's charge up Artemis. And when it's charged, take another shot at their shields. Oh, here we go. Oh, my God. We're taking a hit to the weapons, but it's okay. Oh, my... Oh, did you see that laser beam? Just traversed across our engines and our lasers. Solar flare imminent. Oh, my God. Shit. Shit. I don't know what this solar flare means, but I think we're freaking toast. Unless we can get the shields back up ASAP. We've got to wipe out this guy, so come on. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Pause the game because, oh, look at that ship. It's going to blow. Yes, it's blown. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap. Sweet. Three fuel, one drone part, 20 scrap. But, oh, my God. Solar flare imminent. I'm panicking, guys. Oh, no. Oh, solar flare. What's happened? What's happened, guys? What's happened? Situation. Sensors are red. Sensors are red. Okay, engines are repaired. Shields are repaired. Cat, get your ass to the sensors. We need to repair them. Yes, she's on it. And we can almost FTL. Whew. Okay, let's let's jump the hell out of here before we before we explode. Jeez. Oh my god. I hope the next jump's a bit a bit safer. Here we go. Jumping. Ooh. Okay. Oh my god, another auto assault. But we're in good shape. I think our shields are repaired. And this looks like the same strength that we just clashed with. So, you detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Oh, guys, we, we should come to this guy's aid. Intervene to defend the outpost or, or, avo or avoid the conflict. Well, come on, guys. The Baratheon way is not to stand by idly while innocents are slaughtered. We must ride into combat. So, detecting the higher threat, the ship has moved to engage. All right, guys, shields to full. We're going in. My God, what the hell is that? Enemy combat drone? Oh my god, can be shut down by damaging the enemy ship's drone system. I think we're going to have to take that out. That's a priority. Cats in the sensor area. The Artemis is charging. What's wrong with the weapon system? Why isn't that charged? Oh no, the weapons are damaged. Stark! Stark, get into the, get into the weapon system pronto. We need that system up and running. In fact, we might get Robert out from the piloting system to the engine room because we don't need to go anywhere yet. The FTL is not charged and we need to target our missile system on, I think, drone control. Is this drone control? I think it must be. So there we go. The Artemis is shooting the drone system. And, oh, 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 oh my god, the shields, shields are being attacked but we're still good to go. Oh my god, there's a fire! There is a fire! What are we gonna do? Shit. Well, we're going to have to get the fire out. Um, oh, Ned! No! Ned! No! Oh, my God. We're taking hits. Taking hits like a mother trucker here. Ned, get into this room here. Oh, my God. Now, we'll open these doors. Open the airlock. Oh, my God. The hull warning. Oh, my God. The door system is down. Robert, get into the door system. We need to repair the doors to flush. Oh, my God. But our weapon system is down, too. Oh, shit, guys. We could be in trouble. Could be in serious trouble. No, no. Oh, we, we we stopped charging the FTL because there's nobody in there. Caitlin, get in the door system. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is not looking good. We need to charge the FTL and get the hell out of here. Meanwhile, Ned is just. Oh, get out of there, Ned. It's not safe to be in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. We are losing 
ship systems left, right, and center. Luckily, we've still got engines, and the FTL is charging, but, oh, I think we're going to be toast before the FTL is charged. Oh, here comes another missile. Oh, but it's missed. Oh, no! Hull warning, 50%. Oh, my God, Jesus, this is, this is ectic. I am, oh, my God, and Stark is, is, is on his last legs. No, not the engines. They cannot take the engines. Luckily, the, uh, Oxygen at 58%. The engines are down. We need to get Stark in there. Go on, Stark. Oh, no. No. There's fire everywhere. Oh, my God. Stark is going to... No. Ned. No. Ned. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Engines critical. We're taking hits. We're toast, guys. I think this is it. The stag. The stag has survived two jumps, which, honestly... Isn't so bad for my first expedition, but I think we've learned a valuable lesson. Don't engage a ship uh, when you've got the option not to, because we could have used the scrap to upgrade our ship, and it, and if we'd had our weapon system repaired, we could have stood a chance. Jeez, your one last exploration marks your fate. One last explosion, sorry, marks your fate as your ship is torn apart. Ah, <sighs> god damn it! This is a fun game, though. This is awesome fun, and uh, I think I'm probably going to play a bit more of this. So. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Faster Than Light, a kind of roguelike space sim. It's not available yet, but it will be available on Steam. It's a Kickstarter-funded uh, operation, so if you like games like this and you want to see more, definitely head on over to Kickstarter and take a look at some of the games that people are looking for funding there for, because they could really use your help. And uh, and I love to back indie developers who are, who are making interesting games like this, fun new games in genres that haven't been explored fully. So thanks for watching. I've been Shin. Hit like and favorite if you enjoyed this video, and uh, and I'll see you guys uh, next time for some more indie games. Take care.